I can almost guarantee that this is something that we've made, man. Umar Nurmagomedov versus Hayoni Barcelos. I mean, if there's one thing that we can definitively say about Hayoni Barcelos right now, AJ, I think it has to be without a shadow of a doubt. This is a game fighter. He does not give one singular fuck about like match make me perfectly to no i'll take anybody anywhere i know that i deserve to be a top 15 fighter but i'm just going to keep fighting these fucking studs anyways and this is his opportunity right here being this game to say all right number 11 umar number eh, let's get it let's get it before we talk about anything we need to address the elephant in the room aj look at the props minus 200 for umar Nurmagomedov via decision against hayoni barcelos how the audacity you know what i'm saying why why is umar that is he simply that dominant and let's talk about the other thing before you answer that this is the opening odds minus 550 for Nurmagomedov, plus 400 comeback for Barcelos. You want to know what it is now? Minus 1,000 for Umar Nurmagomedov, plus 650 for Barcelos. I don't like it. I think that is egregious, and I think it's a little disrespectful. Not a little. I think it's very disrespectful to Hayoni Barcelos, but I can't see here and lie to you guys, man. I'm, I'm just cat out the bag. I, I think Nurmagomedov's going to win. But needless, you know, besides the point, what do you think about all of that? Mind blown, Derek. People are not giving Hayoni Bar uh, Hayoni Barcelos, excuse me, the respect he deserves. And full cat out of the bag, full clarity right here. I'm also picking Nurmagomedov in this fight, yeah. but I think it's a little closer than than minus one thousand. And for a minus two hundred decision, Umar Nurmagomedov isn't the the smash style of fighter. This is going to be kicking. This mm -hmm. is going to be throwing a lot of stuff around while up and down. Yes, he can wrestle. He can get things going. But, but Hayoni Barcelos is an absolute dog amongst dogs. One of the dudes that's come in and revitalized his own going for it. And a, a dude, you do not want to stand across in an octagon and put any sort of disrespect or any sort of underestimated on this guy because Hayoni Barcelos will send you home uh, or send you back to the locker room asleep. Hayoni Barcelos is a very, very difficult opponent to fight, especially on the momentum track he is. I, I don't I don't have it up right now if he's lost or won his last fight. I'm pulling yep, it up. He won his last uh, fight. Yeah, Trevin Jones, man, taking out these young dudes. And sure, he did lose the one to uh, Victor Henry. But what I think is going to be more of a telling fight right here is the Tamor uh, Valiev fight. Vaev, Tamor Valiev. That's really where I think this gonna this fight's gonna happen, and that was a majority decision loss. Mm -hmm. So close enough that uh, that Hayoni Barcelos had an argument to win it, and I think that's gonna play dividends into this one as well. That minus two hundred is very disrespectful for the uh, Umar, Nurmaga, Umar Nurmagomedov decision. Yeah, I think so too, man. And this, you're right. While Umar isn't a smash guy, he kind of is a smash guy too. If you look at his last fight, that's exactly it. They both yeah. won their fight the same way, wrestling, grappling. They both won the same fight, same fight the same way. The thing that's interesting to me is that a couple fights ago, maybe four-ish, five fights ago, Hayoni Barcelos defeated none other than Saeed Nurmagomedov. Let's not forget about that, right? That was a decision victory against Saeed Nurmagomedov. So, I'm just looking at UFC tenure, right? Sergey Moore is off for Umar. You got Brian Keller, and then you got Nate Maness. He pretty much ragged out all these guys, man. I mean, decision for Maness, uh, rear naked choke, that was early for Boom Kelleher, and then that uh, rear naked choke for Moore is off, man. All very impressive victories. This is the biggest step up in competition in the UFC thus far, in my opinion, um, for Hayoni Barcelos. The question is, both of these guys can grapple. Are they going to try to grapple each other? Both of these guys can strike. It's different levels of striking. I would be very leery of just sitting in there in the pocket with Umar Nurmagomedov. But if I'm Umar, I'd be leery of just sitting in the pocket with Hayoni Barcelos. You know what I mean? I do think the clearest path to victory is Umar. I think his style is so tough to really dial in on. Um, but if there's a dog here, Barcelos is one of them. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I said earlier, two, two dogs that I really think that they can, they can pull upsets. Unfortunately, Barcelos is not one of them. Um, but I just think that it's egregious the way that they're looking at this. Like, this is just an, like, it's almost like Nurmagomedov is coming in and fighting some dude who's making his UFC debut or something. Like, that's <laughs> how I feel like the odds makers are looking at it. I like a Nurmagomedov decision, hard fought decision, where both of these fighters put each other in a little bit of trouble. Um, but that's the way I'm not going to put too much, uh, even of a specific stock into this fight alone, because I think this is going to be a barn burner. What do you think? I think we're in for a barn burner as well, Derek. I'm also going Nurmagomedov decision because I think Hayoni Barcelos is such a hard fight, man. You can't just put this dude out. It, it, like, like you said, you can't put him out like he's a newbie, man. This dude is a tenured veteran, a grizzled veteran of the sport. I think it's going to be a hard fight. I think we're in for a banger right here. Banger alert warning, folks. Make sure you tune in early for this fight. I'm still going Nurmagomedov, but I, I wouldn't say he's a live dog. 
But there's somebody that can get in and make this fight scrappy. It's Hayoni Barcelos. That's right. And I'm going to say, folks, from a betting perspective, this is a stay away. You don't touch this, right? I don't see – there. obviously, there's plenty of value in Barcelos here, but I don't really see him getting the victory um, ultimately. I I mean, I might eat my words totally, man. But in terms of betting on Umar Nurmagomedov, there's no reason. There's just no reason. The only bet that I would take is a plus 350 submission. That's the only one, and I would not throw a lot of money. But I would stay away otherwise. So – 